Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we are back to Lego the Hobbit. Let's continue the story. The disturbance of the what little story survived, there is. Confirmed that the blade found by Radagast and presented to the White Council was indeed a Morgul blade. Gandalf and Radagast made haste to the abandoned fortress of Dol Guldur, where the foul blade was found to uncover the mystery. So best as I can tell, what this means is they went, they found an empty thing for the nine ring race. So one of the ring race escaped. Those with the magical stuff can interact with the magical blue things. Well, yeah, we know that. We've been doing it. And so that opens that gate. Where are we? Anyways. Oh, we are way over here, so in strangeness, everybody else is somewhere around here, I think. They're not in this uh, Estergarth area, but they're somewhere here, maybe they're somewhere over here, waiting to enter the mountain. But in the meantime... We, in, we did one level, and now it seems like we're going to do a second level in which we go down on our side quest this direction. So this area is used, but only by Gan Ganondorf, not Ganondorf, Gandalf. Ganondorf is the, the bad guy from The Legend of Zelda. Uh, probably a reason why those names are so f close to each other. And I would assume that... The creators of the Legend of Zelda stole heavily from that. So what is this guy gonna do with all these characters? Nothing, he just gets afraid of these. <laughs> that is weird. So uh, I probably need a wraith or some kind of evil character to get around that. There's a giant, uh, what would you call these, thorny finger thorns, something. The abandoned yeah. fortress of Dol Guldur was clearly home to a sinister and great mystery. Though it sat silent in the mist, the wizards feared a powerful enemy lurked within. Well, that's why you don't abandon Dol fortresses. The hill of sorcery. It looks completely abandoned. There's two things you do when you take down a fortress. This place. You either burn it to the ground, Which means our enemy or you take it over. Regained his full strength. Wait, Gandalf! What if it's a trap? It's undoubtedly a trap. Hmm. It seems just so strange. Are we gonna get like one more level as uh, the dwarves and Bilbo and spend the rest of this game doing Gandalf stuff. I only think there's probably three more levels left. If, it, if two of those go to, to this part of the story, It also makes no sense too. It would it we've seen that they have the ability to fly with the eagles. So all Tolkien would have had to have done was simply uh it seems like I cannot do anything with those that barrel. Is have the I can do something like all he would have had to do is had Frodo with him during the time and then take that why do I why can I not break this why is there a pile of stuff here I'm getting 
no instruction at all on what to do. But yeah, just Frodo, Frodo should have, uh, or Bilbo, yeah, God, God, I'm so backwards, should have been with Gandalf doing this story. And then they sh both could have gotten on an eagle, eagle and met back up with the other group. Or nothing should have happened with the other group at all during the time they were away. Hmm. Have I missed something? Completely? Like... He has glows when orcs are nearby for glamour dream. Uh, am I supposed to escape? No, that's just a collectible. Let's see. What does this guy have as an ability? Just a staff. I may have maybe didn't trigger something. Like there's nothing to break here. And I can't figure out. Let's see if I switch to the sword. Oh Man, it did not want to let me do that. This game is, is buggy. It's just a little bit buggy. It's ridiculous to get stuck at the beginning of a level. At least we know now know what we're doing. We're trying to get lasers into those red targets, which is something we've never done in a LEGO game also. It's something that could be introduced, certainly. And that's fine. I think they're going a little far here, having targets you can hit with a, a slingshot that being different targets than what you can hit with a Arrow versus targets now we can only get with lasers. That's like one too many. Hmm. Go ahead and hit this. Power up these. Whatever these are, statues. running around collecting all the collectibles. Uh, we haven't had a build puzzle in a while. And last level was about average length. So they could have thrown a build puzzle. I suspect what's gonna end up happening if it's like what happened before, we'll see one or two of build puzzles in this level to account to adjust for the previous one being, or to adjust for this one being maybe some short. <laughs> Ilda's bird. Is this the right way to depict somebody being sick? Having just purple and black studs come off them? I guess it works, but it feels like they should have thought of something new, something different. <laughs> but I can't think for the life of me anything better than what they what they're doing. So so I don't have a better suggestion for that. We're halfway to our Master Burglar, which probably means we're halfway to the end of the level. Wouldn't that be 
a kick in the pants if this entire level is just focused on getting us inside this tower. I think if you were going to merge Lego Lord of the Rings and Lego The Hobbit, you would have to call it Lego The Lord of the Rings uh, Saga. Or Lego Middle Earth Saga, maybe, but I think you, you have to go Lord of the Rings in there and, and then put a sticker on there that says includes Lego The Hobbit uh, to make sure people realize they're getting both. One more statue to be built. None of these wizards bother to use their hands, they just use magic, that's fine. I can see a lot of extra stuff here we'll do in free play mode. I wonder what this scene looked like in the movie. Uh, how this would be depicted normally what the statues actually look like, what spell he was really doing, if any. Alright, we got another area, so... <laughs> not completely done for. We need to pick up this axe. I don't think I can get that. <laughs> With an axe, I can break this. Hmm. But again, we have to wonder, are we going to fight anybody? We didn't fight anybody in the last level. At all. I don't think a single character. It's not like I'm a huge fan of games just infinitely spawning creatures for you to kill. Ah, that's what I thought. I figured once I got closer there'd be a little bit more to it than just that we couldn't just walk right through the gate. But there, there needs to be something. Uh, even though I do pine for a day when they make a video game that has like no violence in it at all, you can't have nothing in your game. I'd much rather all video games be violent like they mostly are right now than all video games or even some video games having no action in it. Nobody really likes walking simulators or just bland stories with no. Oh, wh wh I don't know what you would call it. Wow, that does not look right at all. Look at that stairs. Feels like this should be more pushable to make a full set of stairs, but it isn't. Interesting. Master Burglar. So let's say we do open this next section and there's nothing there. That wouldn't be super surprising. I think we're going to fight something, but they may save that for the next level. This may be it. He's back. That's what I thought. I figured we'd probably fight somebody. I don't even know what he's saying. Do any of them speak, or There's like no other orcs around. So he's not even really too much of a threat. 
There's another one, finally. So we have to get locked in a fight with them, then hit Y, and then fight them some more. Imagine I do this once or twice more. Look, he's already blinking. One more time, and I think that's it. This is probably the whole fight right here. Nothing special, nothing unique, nothing interesting about it. You just hit him, take him out. Do those quick time events. See the cutscene. So he screams run again. Oh, we got a little run sequence here. Let's see, how is the control this time? Well, I will say on this path you're taking a lot of curves and you're not moving back and forth very much. Uh, so because of the narrow path, so that felt a little more controlled simply on the face that you, you couldn't go off the track very easily. I was really, really short. And where are we? What is this thing? Like a giant purple people eater? It looks like two giant purple eyeballs. Are you trying to fight or something? I have to hit B, I guess. One of them seems to get be able to do a shield by holding B. I guess I can do that too. First time the game has allowed me to do that though. Wasn't fast enough on it. So do I need to turn on the shield for the blue one? Is that the case? What is this thing though? I have no idea. Alright, so I'm just gonna hold this and see what happens. Now I can type X. Ah. So. The game is giving me very little indication that this is what I was supposed to do. Or that I was supposed to build anything with the pieces. So we're building more of these statues. Caps the X. That looks like a ring wraith or a saw around himself. Kind of hard to tell, but look sort of similar in silhouette at least. Never really did get an explanation on what Sauron was doing, how he seemed to be able to break up his body into different parts. And you have the eye of Sauron, the uh, mouth of Sauron, and all these things I think are real characters in the story. I will say in comparison to like the Harry Potter series though, uh, I feel like what they wanted to accomplish in the Lord of the Rings series is better accomplished than uh, the Harry Potter series. Because the Harry Potter series, at the beginning, wanted to, ju to be just a fantasy story of a, of a boy going to a wizard school and then turned into a 
epic action battle against Voldemort. Um, he sometimes shouldn't be named, I guess. Uh, whereas, it seems like, at least for the Lord of Rings books, they wanted Sauron to be the main enemy and the main focus of the whole uh, conflict. And no point in at least Lord of the Rings does it feel like, no, they wanted to, to have a wild fantasy adventure where you're just having fun. Even in this Hobbit story, which is almost that, it's predicated on uh, the desolation of the smog the, and all of that. Which I don't know if that was a chapter or what. But smog attacks this dwarven city. There's conflict there. Gandalf is hiring Bilbo to steal a special stone. There's. There's, there are some points, I think, where they talk about just cooking and second breakfast and mountains and such on the way. But I, it's mostly a lot more ignorable than the Harry Potter books. I think also, though, that the Harry Potter books are probably infinitely better because there's more thought to them and more words to them. that makes any sense. I could be wrong about that. I could be, it's, it's really just an opinion from somebody who hasn't read either one of the books. But if I had to make a choice, I'd probably choose to read the, the Lego Harry Potter books instead. That looks like the Eye of Sauron. So he's back. Even though the Harry Potter book series would be a lot longer, I think I'd enjoy it more than the Lord of the Rings series, which feels like it would go on forever without saying anything of any import. That you just read chapters and chapters with nothing going on. So that was the Necromancer. Uh, is this confirmation that the Necromancer was Sauron and the orc leader brought him back to life? somehow or is helping him bring himself back to life? I don't know. Really short level again though, that still was only 23 minutes. They squeezed like four or five sections into that level, but they're so, so, so short. It, it seems th this cake needed to be in the oven for another couple years, but they rushed it out to be in line with the movies. And now we have an inferior product for all time because of it. People need to take care with making video games related to movies and just take your time. Get the video game to come out when it's like the five year anniversary of the movie coming out. Take your time, let, let, let it really be baked, let it be interesting. Anywho, that's going to be it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All that helps out. If you want to support me, you can click on my name, Rido. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Click it, make a donation. And if you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.